we're gonna read from Psalms we're gonna read from Psalm 75 we're going to read from Psalms Psalm 75 and verse 1 We give thanks to you, God. We give thanks for your wondrous works. Declare that your name is near. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved. I set its pillars firmly. I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely it drags sa shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the thorns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Amen. It is written, and the Bible cannot be undone, that God Almighty at one moment revealed his intention and his will and his decision saying that I loved you with eternal love I drew you near with mercy speaking of course to all peoples and each and every one of us individually and some of them accepted that invitation that calling out these people and to these people God Almighty revealed His Son His Word that became flesh and was born through the Spirit and Mary and he revealed that this Christ, the Nazarene, was no one else other than the Word of God in flesh. Th that this person, Jesus Christ, was the Son of the Living God. Who uh, humbled himself and he became a servant to all things according to the will of God as he did not think uh, uh, of himself as being robbed of his uh, likeness of God, but rather he humbled himself and he became equal to, p to a man. And he humbled himself as he became a servant up until death and death of the cross. And that is why God raised him up and gave him the higher the highest name upon which all knees will bow and all tongue any all tongues will uh, exalt him and he who calls upon his name he will be saved by the father at all things as long as with faith he calls upon the name of the Lord the one who was sent by God and as now God is able to save people he's given them to Christ as Christ confirms in his word that no one comes to me unless he is drawn near by God no one is able to come by his own willingness to me and him who comes to him Christ himself adds to the body of his that is the church and now he is becoming a property of Christ as we confirm as well that he is our Lord and Savior in the same manner Christ confirms that you are children of God 
because you have accepted the name of Christ and now you are a part of the of Christ's body and you are part of the church of the God and this is how from God through the Christ and by the Spirit the church was created that he is upholding and he is the only one building up the church and in that church the keys of the eternal life have been given as he holds that strength for the church there's the church of God therefore that is the house of God under one or uh, circumstance as long as that house is the pillar and the foundation of the truth and this is where God is dwelling in and that house is the one that God is exalting his name and reveals Christ on that place in that church and for this church the prophetic word through this psalm confirms mysteries and reveals mysteries things that have been hidden from the beginning of the world he reveals the relationship of Christ with the church and the relationship of the church with Christ it reveals the plans of God through Christ in the Spirit and it's also revealing the, f the present the past we all know the past it's sin and damnation the present that is salvation and the future that is continuous blessing and in that way with a miraculous way the word of the Lord is revealing to us the things that are happening and will continue on happening in the church saying in the church that we only give thanks to you O God and only in the church the person is giving thanks to God only in the church there is no other place where the name of God is exalted where God is exalted amongst his people and people of God are exalting him we give thanks to you therefore for your wondrous work declare that your name is near the name of God the Father and it's not the name of the Old Testament called now the Lord Jehovah but rather now we are calling him Father that is why we're giving thanks because we have accepted Christ and he revealed to us through faith he gave us the power to be his children and call God Almighty he who lives upon eternity for us to call him Father exalt him like our own father and especially have that special relationship between a son and the father who me uh, who's not worthy sinner to be able to have that special kind of love fatherly love and relationship with the God Almighty the one who lives upon eternity who's holy and I am a sinner and he is my father and I'm his child and what does it mean means that I am what does it mean for you to be a child of God it means that you have the inheritance of God Almighty and it's gonna become mine whatever he has and of course that special inheritance that I am also gonna inherit all these things along with Christ who's gonna take ownership of these things upon in front of all powers and we are gonna reign with Christ with the Lamb as we sit on the throne of God 
and Christ who we cannot be fathomed is it possible for you and I blessed be the name of the Lord that is why only in the church that is a, a parted is a church of the children of God there's the thanking there's the exalting because near in our heart and in our mouth is the name of Christ and additionally in that church the mysteries of Christ are revealed in this church we have the experiences of the children of God because it's in every one of our experiences is uh, an exaltation to God who was I where I was where was I and what I was doing in my life and how was I transformed and God is happy when we confirm his name saying that only he who does this I will also confirm his name in front of God and this is a characteristic of the church exaltation salvation in the name of Christ and confirmation of faith with exaltation and glorification to God but in this environment now Christ comes along to speak when I choose the proper time says God Almighty I will judge uprightly to him God has given all the ability to judge all peoples on the sky the earth and underneath it and the information that he's giving us is that the proper time is coming and I will judge and that judgment will be at the end of all days when he is sitting at the right hand of God on his throne when he's gonna separate to his right and to his left but also there's gonna be a judgment at the end of the seven year reign of the Antichrist when he calls upon his saints he's gonna judge all peoples underneath the serving of Satan with the mark on, his, on the right hand and the forehead as they bow down to the image of the Antichrist but also there's going to be a judge a judging place and a judging time in the church as there are going to be two sleeping in the same house one's going to be taken one's going to be left behind and that is an amazing judgment that God is going to perform a judgment in the church a judgment in the seven year reign judgment in uh, the kingdom of God and all these are going to happen in the throne of God and through the throne of God and now he's revealing the earth and its all its inhabitants are dissolved I set up its pillars firmly though I am the one who created the earth and the sky and all the things that are in them anything that you see on the sky or the earth I've created them but I am willing to dissolve that earth and the and its inhabitants and create a new earth and new skies and as it was in the years of Noah all peoples died apart from the ones that have entered through faith in the ark in the same way I'm gonna pass judgment and all peoples are gonna be judged as I'm gonna separate my church for me for eternal life from the ones that did not accept 
the word of my truth my word of truth and to them the Antichrist is going to reign upon Satan himself and he who will be established by Satan on earth and this is my plan says God himself but now I'm speaking to the church because I loved the church with eternal love this is my glory I am speaking and I am confirming to the boastful in the church to the boastful people but also to the ones who are not paying the respect due we're not talking about the world anymore they are judged by now but we are not going to go through judgment as, as long as we are holding and walking accordingly to the plan of God and we have to take out of that equation the boastful and the wicked and I'm gonna tell you who the fool and the wise is who is the wicked and the blessed he and only in the church can we find these people the people that have my word and do accordingly to it they are the wise the ones that have my word and are not obedient to it to them uh, fools therefore I say to the boastful do not deal boastfully if you don't have my word you cannot obey but mind this that I'm gonna pass judgment but I'm also speaking to the wicked in my church the ones that have lost the fear of God they're not scared of God and they're not ashamed of people they're not ashamed with their own appearance they're not ashamed of their own desires they're not ashamed of their own actions why because they've lost the fear of God and I say to those do not lift up the horn thinking to yourself that you know all things thinking that you are able thinking that you can be free do not speak about freedom in sin because only the one that the truth has set free he is truly free only the one who Christ set free he is free indeed and that is why we can do not lift up the horn because you are wicked and do not speak with a stiff neck do not have a heart that is hardened and speak harsh words in the in the church and that can be reality that is the wicked he is speaking with harsh words very dearly He is speaking in a weird and bad manner. Therefore do not be harsh. Because the true upholding is not coming from within natural powers, but the true power comes only from God who is the judge the one who can judge who is the one who can judge in the church is the Lord alone and he gave all the power to judge of judgment to Christ therefore do not be wicked and boastful because he who wh whoever Christ wants is upholding and uplifting because he can put down one and exalt another only he the power of the Almighty God has been given to Jesus Christ only Jesus Christ is able to put down one and exalt the other that is why you do not need to be wicked or boastful disobedient to the word of the Lord without the fear of God without obedience because it is 
to God the judge for the hand says in verse 8 for in the hand of the Lord there is a cup it is indeed that cup is in the heart of the Lord and the wine is red and it is fully mixed and he pours it out and he's let us not just say wrath but let us put it as judgment that he pulls out through judgment he pulls out it uh, he pulls it out for to people that are in the church as well that is why we read further down after all this surely i will declare forever i will sing praises to the god of jacob for all things i am the one who has the ultimate power on earth and in heaven as it has been given to me I am the one I am the one says the Lord that all I will declare forever and I will sing praises to the God of Jacob but you as well as I I'm saving you and you are exalting me and we are one I am in you and you are in me I am exalting you and you are exalting me on the other hand all the horns all the power all the might of the wicked I will also cut off as it is written that I am sending down trembles to the earth and the heavens because in the church and outside of the church and that is the the message today the that God is a judge for the for all peoples in or out of the church all the things out of this earth need to be brought down out of the church but even more so in the church all the things of this earth the earthly th things need to be brought down destroyed and demolished so that the horns of the righteous that are going to remain in front of god in front of god almighty jesus christ and the spirit to be exalted and that will be for the exaltation of christ this is the church of god this is the house of the Lord this is the relationship of Christ and the church this is the glory of Christ and is the church of the Lord and in that church God allowed by his grace and through the faith for us to be today in but be aware stay awake and pray so that you may not fall into temptation because the enemy is near he who's walking around asking and seeking to devour even the chosen ones if possible even the chosen ones and who are the chosen ones is the church of the lord the children of god the praise of god and the glory of god i mean